have you referred to Stefan Diggs as him in any way, shape, or form in any conversation? <laughs> Have you I done love it? how you how you bring it back to to reality here for me. <laughs> sure, him. He's uh, him. Was, uh, yeah, he like yeah. So I, I'll, he refers to himself as him. <laughs> so I, that's like who's on first, right? Yeah, yeah, he does. <laughs> he's him. Kevin. Who are you? <laughs> yes, yes. I'm me. You're you, and he's him. That's. <laughs> I think we got that accurate. I think we, we have. Yeah, we but you don't refer to him as him, to him. No, not to him. I think he refers to himself as him. I see. Okay. This is like an Abbott and Costello routine. I, I agree. Uh, but but just watching him, uh, well, hold on, watching Diggs, him, perform, uh, can you can you compare it to anybody you've seen? Obviously, you've been on teams with some wide receivers of note who have even made the Hall of Fame. What do you, what, what, what do you say about Diggs and what he's been able to do with your quarterback? What do you got from uh, him? Yeah, he's been, you know, it's been a joy watching him. Uh, Diggs in this case. Yes. Uh, come here and uh, and play at a high level, and then yes, just really develop from a leadership standpoint as well. Uh, and when you trade for a player, you never quite know what you're getting. We felt like we knew the player, and now to watch Stefan develop uh, in terms of his leadership and his influence on our team has been has been really fascinating to watch. And um, you know, it, it's just amazing watching you, Coach. You seem so calm. I mean, you never. I, 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 is your inner monologue just as calm, or are you just really good at hiding it? What are you? <laughs> seriously? I'm, I think listen, I'm an ex wrestler, huh? so I think maybe I'm just good at hiding it. I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty intense inside. Okay. So, um, what, what do you mean by an ex wrestler? For those who might not have been a wrestler, what is it? So you're, you're screaming inside. You're, are you? You know. I got a little bit of fire. I got a little bit of fire going inside. Uh, yeah. Okay, so between uh, a a wrestler and Ken Dorsey, what is what is happening inside you during a game? Like, where where, where are you closer to? Where are you closer to? Well, what do you what do you know about Ken Dorsey? Well, I saw on the camera, you know, where he kind of rearranged his workspace at the end of a game, which, by the way, I loved. <laughs> I kind of I loved it. I loved it. Um, but you know, yeah. do you have that? Is that going on inside you too, Coach? Oh, yeah, I think we've all been there. You know, after a after a challenging day's work, I think we've all been there, at least in our minds, and that just happened to play itself out on national television there. But um, uh, we're all competitive. If you're in this business, and I'm sure, um, you know, in any business, if you want to be good at something, you got to like to compete and you got to have that drive, that internal drive that, that makes you want to be the best. And, again, you've been around a team that's made a Super Bowl, that's for sure. So uh, does this team have that feel for you, Coach? Uh, we'll see. You know, we'll see. We're just going to continue to take it one game at a time. Uh, the next game is the most important game for us, and it's, like I mentioned, a good Jets football team. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku Channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.